Well, g'day everyone, and welcome back. You're with Huey for another episode of our Battletech Extended Commander's Edition mod Let's Play as the Mercenary Company Equitas Machina. And in the last episode, we just did a couple of bread and butter missions after we completed a flashpoint. Um, oh, excuse me, one moment. Um, and yes, when, uh, in this episode, we'll be continuing on with um, another flashpoint just to. Uh, get a bit more of our story going and uh, sort of uh, fill in some time while we wait for the next major event which will be in 3049 um, the clan invasion now I uh, had a uh, question asked uh, on one of uh, my previous videos I think it was episode 109 asking why I can you know sell all my unused stuff and uh, when I do um, why do I keep, you know, some of the standard stuff when I've, I've still, you know, I've got much better equipment? Um, well, a couple of things. It's a very good question. Um, it's actually good for your game to help it run smoother if you don't have your inventory overloaded with like, you know, 200 medium lasers and, you know, 600 freaking heat sinks and things like that. So it is a good idea to uh, empty out your inventory once in a while and uh, keep those numbers, you know, to a manageable level. And you will notice uh, a definite, um, particularly once you get up to some ridiculous numbers, you will notice a big difference in performance. Um, the other thing is uh, having that, having a lot of uh, stuff in your inventory, actually does affect it. Affects the size of your save file and it affects your, um, your loading times and your save times. So the other reason is um, that I like to keep a few sort of standard item as ba items as backup. There's a couple of things. Um, I like to have them, well number one, as backup just in case. And number two, it's more of an immersion thing because you know I am kind of telling a story here of the mercenary company Equitas Machina. So, it's kind of to keep an inventory, so you're like, okay, we've got these, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, and the person did ask, you know, look, why are you selling them when you've got all this money, you don't need to sell them. Well, again, it's an immersion thing. It's sort of like, okay, well, I'm growing a company. So it's, it's just, some of it's pure roleplay. I don't just play to min-max. I know there are players who do that. Um, but that's just, you know, to me... To just do that without any element of um, immersion or roleplay, it's just downright boring. And I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, but that's just how I like to play. So, it's it's, it's a, a variety of reasons. So, it was a very good question, so thank you for uh, for the question. But hopefully uh, I've answered that to your satisfaction. Anyway, so we're going to jump into a flashpoint uh, for this episode. And it's called Double Agent. It's a short engagement, so let's get into it. Oh, Commander Anonymous Macronas, thank you for joining me. I was uncertain you would follow such a vague read, but I am generally pleased that you did. No curiosity has been piqued. Now, if you don't mind, we'd like to hear what you've brought us here for. I have a task for you. If you check the local market, you'll find a Torian uh, contract to capture a Davian military installation on Frintov's northern continent. I want you to take it. Why? What does that have to do to do with you? Everything. We want that facility as bad as the Torians do. Where we differ is in our understanding of sub sub subtlety. I want you to accept Marisol Chaplin's contract to go through the motions of fulfilling it. But when the job is finished and the insertion is in your hands, I want you to turn it over to me. In short, you're asking us to betray the Concordat's trust. I'm glad to see we are on the same page. As we both know, what I'm asking you to do will have consequences. Your reputation with the Torians will suffer for it, and your MRB score could be affected. Us is were prepared to compensate you for these inconveniences. I just want to get this straight. To you, the fallout from Knife and the Torians in the back would qualify as an inconvenience? Uh, 
at the risk of sounding immodest, yes. The Torians are big fish in a small backwater pond. The Caparan Confederation, on the other hand, is a successor state of the Inner Sphere. We have far more to offer you than they do. Uh, by an order of magnitude, choosing the Concordat's interests over ours would be questionable, uh, questionable decision at best. Hmm. All right, you make a compelling argument. Okay, Lady Marina, we'll do it. As he turns to wink at Yang. I knew I could count on you. I will find the Torian contract waiting in front of Mercenary Exchange. You'll know it when you see it. I'll be in touch, Commander. Real out. Lady Marina's image flickers and dies. You know, this is a dangerous game, right, boss? I mean, we're basically just agreed to screw over one of the two largest powers in the remote periphery. It's, uh, it's a power move, sure, but the kind that could have consequences down the line. Everything we do is as an element of risk, gang. May as well lean into it. If you say so. For the record, this big fish matters uh, matters, and the little guy gets screwed stuff is part of the reason I left the Confederation in the first place. The little guy in this scenario is the Torian Concordat, Yang. And speaking on behalf of Autorians, I can tell you that the Concordat doesn't need your charity. It can take its licks as well as any power in the Inner Sphere. Now, let's get moving. The sooner we capture that base, the sooner we can hand it over to the Capellans. Alright. So hopefully, I, I'm, I can't remember. I don't, I don't know if there's a, a an option to... Um, to back out. So we're gonna see. Anyway, so we'll negotiate. Ah, uh, we'll go max salvage. Sure. So, that's a max 75 tonner. Good. Good, good, good. Because we know what we're gonna take, don't we? Yes, we do. We're going to take... Um... Well, for starters, we're gonna change out our mech warriors. And I do want to bring Servo and I'm going to stick him in the Raven. I'm going to bring Capstone in. And then uh, God has oh, low spirits. Damn it. Well, maybe we don't bring him out. Krill, however, no problem. So we'll put him there. I think. Maybe not. Yeah, you'll put him there. And then we have Noble. I think we'll bring in Noble. Or maybe we'll bring in Popo. No, we'll bring in Noble. She may as well get used to other mechs because we are bringing in the Orion, of course, the Grasshopper, uh, the Rifleman, and of course our favourite little Light Mech, the Raven. So, two, 240 tons exactly. Now let's go. Yeah, so we are in da Davian, Davian territory. Um, so, you know, screwing over the Capellans. Could be a double agent of my own. That would be nice if we could do that, actually. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I don't know if we're committed or not. Um, hopefully we get an option. Yeah, like I said, it's been so long since I've done this particular mission. Anyway, so yeah, it's a, it's a capture base, so famous last words, but it shouldn't shouldn't be too hard. And the Orion does have the UAC-5, so we do pack quite a punch with that. Uh, this is the contract Lady Marina wanted us to take, Commander. It seems fairly straightforward. It's only a two and a half skull, so eh. should be fine. 
I want to say we should be fine. <laughs> Taking a hit to our MRV rating. I don't know how we feel about that. That's why I'm sort of like, oh yeah, we'll do this for you. Hopefully we can double cross you. <laughs> nah, but we shall see. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, Commander. I set you down just outside the Davian's, uh, Davian base's assumed sensor range. With any luck, you'll have a little breathing room to plan your approach before everything goes to hell. Thank you, Moira. Commander, I'd recommend exercising caution on this deployment. This facility is valuable enough to attract the attention of the Torians and the Cabellans. It's probably going to be well defended. Odds are good, but hey, heavy defenses mean better salvage. I think I just stepped in some... Uh, shit. No, that was just the raven. <laughs> no. Um, usually the best way to approach this one. Straight over here. Confirmed. Moving to position. Let's um Orders. Let's move you up first. On the move. Coordinates received. Make sure Order nice and safe. Onward. Let's head down here. Move order received. Roger that. This is approach with caution, huh? Acknowledged. This is it? The forward base that our clients are so eager to take over? It doesn't look like much, does it? They usually don't. Still, I think the XO has the right idea. We don't know what they're gonna bring online to defend this place. On the way. Let's move. God, we gotta run all the way down because we don't have jump jets. So. <laughs> On my way. I'm there. Moving to position. Acknowledged. On my way. Acknowledged. Rolling. I get you. On the move. We've got an un. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Well, oh, crap. Ready to get it on. On my way. Since log that thirty tunnel. Got a lock. I've been sensor locked. Yes, Commander. Move order received. This is hit him hard. Got him. Target neutralized.
Oh my god. Building. I'm here. Surprise, motherfucker. Whee! Hello. This should be good. So we do have a training salt there. Searchlight. Stop. You're just embarrassing yourself. Bloody meanie. Did hurt a bit. Damage minimal. I'm receiving you. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. I think I'll take that. Can you copy that, Commander? Oh, that's yeah, pretty darn good. Actually, let's go for a head hit. Roger. That's setting back a bit. Commander. Let's hit you first. Affirmative. Oh, okay. I can just hang here. What's up, boss? Wait, he can actually. F oh, okay, he's got the medium laser. Of course he can. Ready for orders. Uh. Kill him. Acknowledge. Do the math, Chief. One less target. Yes, Commander. I should have done the active probe ping. Ah, well. Ouch. That actually hurt. Reporting. Seer mech warriors. Show them what you got. Sure, no problem. Standing by. Yeah, let's just see what happens. Wait. Reporting minimal damage. Oh, he can see through the ECM fill. Right. Waiting for orders. Got something you want done? Oh, it's just outside the range. Hang on. Standing by. Why oh, can't he? Ah, oh. <coughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. 
Let's go for a sensor lock. Or actually, no, because the Phoenix Hawk goes next. Stand and by. Let's jump back here and guard. Copy that. Well, he wasn't cloaked. Okay. Well, you're a bugger. Well. Standing by. Moving to position. Let's go for it. <laughs> yes. Hope we can salvage that. Krill might have a go too. I'm here. Acknowledge. Did set him back a bit. Ready for orders. Position confirmed. Yeah, I'll attack him. Why not? One one medium laser. Maybe a little bit helps. Pew. Oh, excuse me. Waiting for the shot. Yes, you did. Uh, let's just hang there. Oh, dumb. Okay. I'm ready. Nearly dead. Yes, Commander. Inbound commander, prep room coming. What oh, crap just missed us? Prep room coming, I reckon, so. Eh? Alright, let's go. Moving out. Oh. Should have went this way. Roger. This is ours, but we've got a problem. The algo is picking up an encrypted do uh, comm signal emanating from the structure. Judging by the length and frequency of the transmissions, I think it's safe to say it's some sort of distress beacon. Oh, that could complicate matters. Last thing we need is a Davian reinforcement land swooping down on us before we can take make the handoff. Dr. Maraud, I need you to find a way to terminate that broadcast. Roger that, Exo. I'll get a team on it right away. Mission successful. Okay. Uh, it 
little bit of damage, not too bad though. We did okay. Alright, so we can get... What does this mean? Minus three. Huh? I don't know, but... We can get a fair bit of uh, decent salvage out of this. Do get an entire Phoenix Hawk. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky, who knows? No, we got two though, so that's fine. That's pretty good. Right, more money in our pocket. Well, I've got the good news and bad news. The good news is my team <coughs> excuse me, managed to get the distress beacon deactivated, and our sensors haven't picked up any new incoming dropships. So three cheers on that front. And what's the bad news? You know how our clients had the bad habit of leaving really important details out of our mission briefings? Well, guess what? Just spit it out, Doc. The building we captured isn't a military outpost, it's a DMI holding facility. We just stole a secret prison from Davian military intelligence. And apparently both the Torians and the Capellans want whoever uh, they've got locked away inside. Given the setup, I'm guessing they captured a TMI field agent. Masquerader operative would make sense too, but they're almost impossible to take alive. There's a prisoner, but she isn't Torian or Capellan. She's MIM, Canopian Intelligence. What she's doing uh, this far out in the, in the inner sphere is beyond me. It looks like the DMI is already is already a rector of the calls, and from what my people tell me, she's in no condition to talk. Good, we shouldn't be talking to her anyway. Whatever the agent poked her nose into is obviously well above our pay grade. Be that as it may, we still have a decision to make. This woman has already been interrogated, and if we hand her over to the Torians, she'll be in for more of the same. It'd be kinder to put a bullet in her, in, in her than it would be to give it a house Liel. The Masquerover's methods are barely distinguishable from torture. I don't like either of those options, so why not come up with a better one? We should give her back to the magist Magister Street. Send her home. Where, uh, where she'll be in no danger of getting interrogated by anybody. It may even do some good for the Canopians to learn whoever, whatever it, it is she knows. Well, whatever we wind up doing, we're going to leave at least two major governments unhappy. Three if we decide to ha hang a, uh, hand her back to the Magistracy. What do you think, Marcus? Do we hand her over to the Capellans? To the Torians? Or do we help get her back home? Oh, we, uh, this is where I was hoping. I won't turn over, anyone over to the Maskarovka. But we may as well come out of this with at least one clone on our side. We'll hand her over to the Torians. Sounds like a plan to me. I'll put in a call to arrange the handoff. And I'll keep a close eye on our sensors. Spy is a hot commodity. And just because we don't have any bad guys on our screen yet, doesn't mean there aren't any on the way. Alright, so we got a blackjack. Yes. Anything else? Didn't we get a griffin? Thought we did. Okay. Yes, we did. So, um, <clears throat> we are doing work for the Torians. We received your message, and TMI agents are on their way to take possession of the, facil of the facility. Be advised that our long-range sensors have detected Davian and Liao military drop dropships en route to an AO near your position. To better protect the facility, we suggest that you engage them from there. We'll supply you with reinforcements of our own as soon as we can. Alright. Same again. Working for the Torians. It's kind of like a flashpoint for the Torians, so... Hey, guess it all worked out. 
All right, let's uh, bring in a Beagle. I think I'll bring Beagle, Beagle into the Orion. Of course, I'll put Brainy into the Grasshopper. So I think Brainy's got some Grasshopper. Nope, but that's fine. <laughs> Oh, God has some uh, low spirits, but he does have some excellent gunnery skills, which I think might come in handy in the Rifleman. Sure. And finally, let's take out Popo. He can go in the uh, Raven. All right, let's go. I do remember this now. So, alright. We're facing. It's an interesting one. We've got two lances. We've got us and the Torian lance, or whoever you decide to ally with. Then you've got one enemy fighting you, and another lance that turns up later, which fights the other enemy and you and the Torians. It's, uh. Turns out to be a, it ends up being a bit of a mess. <laughs> Thankfully, we've got the Raven on our side, so that should make things a little bit easier. And hopefully, they'll distract each other. Um, we'll just let them uh, butcher each other. Well, I'm happy we uh, took this uh, contract now. It's another excuse to piss off the Capellans. <laughs> Alright, so... It's, I don't think it's a particularly big map, so it shouldn't take that long to load up. Yeah, so it, it's kind of like a double, quadruple cross, <laughs> what we've just done. Yeah, quadruple cross, that, that sounds about right. And again, it's kind of negated by the fact that, I, you know, they asked us to betray one of our allies. I'm like, yeah, sure. It's like, how stupid can you be? Our closest allies, you go, yeah, yeah, just want you to betray them. It'll all work out, yeah, right, eh? Whatever you say. <laughs> the birds are going off. You can probably hear that at the moment. It is that time of evening. Indeed, it is. Birds are coming out to play. Alright, come on game. Make your mind up, what do you want to do? You want to load up? So it would be nice. Finally, into the loading screen. Like, they're sure. Oh, well, getting there, hopefully. There we go. Get ready, Marcus. This is shaping up to be an interesting day. You're telling me. Lots of salvage opportunities, though, so. That should be good. Like, how many times have we stabbed um, Lady Marina in the back? And she still was like, Oh, yeah, we trust you. <laughs> like, 
Okay, okay. Is any wonder your your uh, empire shrunk down to, or, you know, whittled down to almost nothing? Command interface initiated. All right, Commander. If Artorian friends are to be believed, at least two groups of hostiles should be just ahead of you. They're li as likely to shoot one another as they are to shoot it up at you. So, I imagine the situation is about to get a little cha chaotic down there. I'll take chaos over concentrated fire any day. Well, the Torians are supposed to have reinforcements on route to help us. So, go team, I guess? What's your idea, Yang? Commander, you know how this goes. Meet up with our reinforcements, take out the bad guys, and get to the evac zone. Samiri will fetch you when, when the AO is clear. Heads up, Commander. Our Torian reinforcements are touching down now. Elena Norris Old Chaplin sends our regards. Commander Donius Macronus, this looks like a rough AO. If you'll allow us, we'll help you pacify it. Sounds like a plan to us, Lance Leader. Good to have you aboard. No, I totally read that wrong. Am I? Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's head to the center, so hopefully they'll use Affirmative. the Raven as a bit of cover. I read you, Commander. Moving out. There we go. Little the old dropship inbound, Commander. Things are about to get hairy down there. Holding for tactical advantage. Come on, get in there. Oh, we're reserving again. <laughs> and we're doing it again. Shadowhawk over there and a Valkyrie over there. Let's Receiving you. Go for the Shadowhawk. Uh, maybe not, actually. Maybe we should. Hmm. Waiting on you, Commander. I leap. I soar. Bloody Irby. Well, I never. Um. Waiting for orders. Didn't quite work out. Orders. Moving to position. Nice. We got it. Critical hit, Commander. Waiting for orders. Mm, don't want to go too far. We're going to go over here. Moving out. That Capel and Dropship I told you about, sit down with Max. And they're moving on your position with purpose. Excuse me. Hmm. 
might go straight for the Valkyrie, I don't know. Oh, they got a Shadowhawk too. So that's got their attention. What we'll have is this Thunderbolt. Okay. The wasp is like, nope, nope, I don't want to know any part of this. Ah. Okay. Wasp on wasp battles might be fun. <laughs> Seems like they'd take a while though. Okay. Oh right. Okay. All right. Standing by. Well, let's get rid of this guy. I copy. I want him shooting us from the side there, so. See you, mate. Enemy down. I'll have a go at him. Let me have a turn. Actually, let's get God in there. It's going to cost a bit of resolve, but <coughs> I think we should hit that Thunderbolt. On the move. Try and get a crit. He's not guarded. Firing the full combo. Oof. Close. What can I do for you? No cigar. Close, were we? Ah, not that close. Right, Commander. Everywhere but the center. Great. Receiving you. Who's Price? Roger that. Digging in. He's panicked. What's he gonna do? Oh, another Thunderbolt. Hitting the other Thunderbolt. <laughs> oh, piling onto him. And he's like, um, yeah, who am I gonna shoot? Then nobody, okay. <laughs> Good effort. Eject yet. I'm hoping he does. They've got a sensor lock on me. Oh well. Ready to get it on. Don't know what their plans are, but I will move up a little bit. Actually no I won't. I'm gonna reserve again.
I'm gonna have to panic him. Bloody Irby. Oh, sorry about that, folks. You completely missed him. <laughs> What's up, boss? Now head in. Affirmative. Let's see, no one's evasive, so I'll just brace. Oh, got him. Got him. Good one. Shame we didn't eject though, but it's all good. Commander, who am I going after? Urban Mac? Yeah, probably. Yeah, let's get rid of him. Aye, aye. Enough. Inflicted some heavy damage. Well, it's not enough. Okay. Standing by. Three damn mags just to get rid of this thing. Moving to position. And that's assuming I can do it now. You betcha. Uh, nope. God damn it. Uh. Shoot them. Go for it. Shoot them. <laughs> Nothing to do with me. Yeah, I shouldn't move in yet. in that bloody shadow hole. This guy's a ghost standing there. He's still standing up. Oh no, didn't kill him. I thought, I thought they did. They didn't. Just took off one of his torsos. His uh, left torso. Yeah. Okay, so Irby needs to go. Commander, waiting on you, Commander. Here we go. Just gonna get a lot of evasion. Take him out. Hopefully, well, one way or the other. Like that, and you're toast. Well, it's no wonder he's panicked. I 
this bloody Herbie so had damn hard to kill. How does it's that work? Uh, split target. Yes. Check for the Valkyrie. Yes, I'm there. Maybe the Thunderbolt. Soften him off a bit. Confirm. Oh, you're kidding me. Are you kidding me? No joy. Oh, yeah, 45%. I don't know how that was so bad. But... Ready for orders. Alright, whatever. Go for that. Roger. That hit something good. At least makes him a little bit weaker, so. Orders. Sixty-six percent. Roger. Maybe we'll get it. He's guarded though, so. Oh, just need the one laser to hit. Oh, actually, no, we don't, because he's guarded. Oh, well, that, that was enough. <laughs> How was that Irby so hard, dumb, damned hard to kill? It's ridiculous. Just like standing on that guy, on that down on. mech or uh, that down mech, not mech warrior, but you know what I mean. Yes, Commander. Uh, no one I can use a active probe ping on. Moving to position. So yeah, just gonna move up. Brace. Cannot hit that guy. Oh, he got him with the flamer. That was it. Just cannot hit him otherwise. They can't hit each other. Alright, well, I guess I better do something about it in a minute. Comes the cavalry. Actually, no, we won't use the. She got low spirits. Let's get rid of that thunderbolt. Got it. Oh, reveal! Right, I got you now. I got you now. Ah, well, let's take this side out. Roger that. Yeah, now you're pretty useless, aren't I think you? I hit something good. Oh, he missed. The poor bastard. <laughs> it's just... I know how it feels, man. Don't what worry. What can I do for you? Um... Looped and then revealed. We have a Valkyrie, a Valkyrie, 
I'll try for the Shadow Hawk, actually. It's time to die. Let's do this. I want to hit the Thunderbolt, but I kind of can't. So, alright, we'll go for the uh, Shadow Hawk again. Consider me there. Just about dead. <clears throat> hey, man, I'm stressed. Oh, it's on now. Oh, he's coming for me. Look out. I'll have to get the raven in there. Ready for orders. Yeah, come on, Raven. You can do it. You're pretty darn tough for a light, so let's go. <laughs> and that's the way we do it. Yeah, that was a good job, too. Raven against the Thunderbolt. And the Raven won. Did have a little bit of help, though. Something about that. Give him a reason to sense lock me. This is good because they they all take off evasion off each other. We just come in and go boom, boom, boom. Easy. They're just not hitting each other at all. It's ridiculous. All right. Um Yes, Commander. Well, let's head in. Let's help finish this. Who is the least of Ace? The Valkyrie the Wasp actually. It's the easiest to hit. You are. Roger that. But, then again... Uh, it's still pretty rubbish. That's not bad. Head? Let's go for the head. Firing a full salvo. Oh well. It's an injury. That's got to count, right? Go for a hmm. Oh, that's better. Nice one. Shame it didn't work, but hey, it was pretty a pretty good effort. Out. CT on. Oh well. Tango down. Action. 
Good hit. Good hit. There's only two of them left. One on each side. <laughs> You are kidding, right? It's just like looking at him going. Damage is light. You are kidding, right? Got something you want done? Idiot. Acknowledged. Yeah, I got a surprise for you, bozo. Giving him everything I've got. Enemy down. What a moron. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'll hide behind you. You're big and Waiting strong. Um, it's not great. You know what? Let's get How's God in there. No, not sprint. Sorry, not God. Brainy. What can I do for you? Yes. Even there with your million lasers. Yeah, critical hit. You freaking out yet? Much better. Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Scored a critical hit. He's still only stressed. Are you kidding? Commander. Oh, there's a shot. With everything. Affirmative. And we got them all. Target neutralized. Nice. Well done, Commander. And two of my operatives have already taken possession of the prison and uh, extracted the cap captive MIM agent. We are especially pleased that you resisted House Liao's attempts to turn, to turn you against us. Not many mercenary companies would. Our contract was with you. When we, when we signed a binding agreement, we adhere to it, no matter what the success, successor states say, say. God. I'll remember that. We'll resolve this when you return to orbit. Marisol Chaplin out. Mission successful. Well, technically, Darius is right. We signed a contract with the Torians. So, screw House the Owl. Alright. What are our rewards, I wonder? Well, we do have a pick of some lovely salvage here. Any, uh, well, we could get two of these. Could get two Obi parts. Just a quick way to make a bark. You know what? Well, let's do it. Oh, good. Shadowhawk, Shadowhawk, Shadowhawk. Irby and Valkyrie. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and it was a different, it's a, another new avenue we've taken. I've received word from my contact, contacts in the Torian Ministry of Intelligence 
They have transferred our Canopian spy into the custody of the Con Concordant Constabulary, she is moving, which is moving her to a secure facility on Taurus. What will happen to her when she gets there? Will she be interrogated or...? The Taurian Concordat is an egalitarian society, Dr. Murad. We don't believe in the unjustified use of force. She will be treated humanely, in accordance with the Constabulary's operational guidelines. If you don't mind my saying so, ah, that's, a that's a relief. That said, international espionage is a serious crime. There will be a trial, and her fate will be decided. If she's lucky, she'll uh, avoid the firing squad. Whatever else happens, her days as a free woman are over. That much I can guarantee. I can live with that. I mean, it's a shame, but she's a spy. If she didn't want to go to prison, she shouldn't have got caught. My sentiments exactly, Mr. Vatanen. Our Canopian operative is getting no less than she deserves. On behalf of Protector Calderon, I thank you for your service. I'll remit your payment to you directly. Well, that's that. Oh, sorry. Well, that's that. I've sent her apologies to House Liel, but Lady Marina isn't picking up. But I guess, I'd say she's probably a little upset with us right now. Well, honestly, uh, who gives a shit? I mean, she tried to hire a double, ange a double agent and she got burned. <clears throat> the way I see it, that's on her. I'm with you on that one, boss. She wanted Marx who would be okay with betraying a client, and that's exactly what she got. Feels like an appropriate ending to me. Now, who else feels like finding a nice, morally ambiguous contract? Something with one good guy, one bad guy, and zero ethical complications to worry about. Sounds like a plan to me. Pack it, every, pack it in, everybody. We're getting the heck out of here. And we got uh, Irby. Hooray. And we got a Thunderbolt. And we got a Shadow. Uh, might as well grab a 2H. I think they're worth a bit more. So. And what do we get? We got a Stinger part. <laughs> we can build a Stinger. Yay. That's our rare Mac part. Nice. Uh, we've got a Locust 1E. And uh, more Stinger parts. Holy hell. It's enough to build a whole Stinger. Alright. Uh, give me the 3G. Give me another 3G. <laughs> oh. How about give me another 3G? Wait a minute. Do I have a 3R? Okay, it's too late now. Oh, give me a 3R then. Oh my god, we've got stingers coming out of our butt. Stingers coming out of our butt. I just realised what I actually said then. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, we're not going to be hanging around here because... Their contracts are pretty lame. I mean, the, the flashpoint wasn't much better, but hey, at least it told a bit of a story. And as for the mech warriors, let's quickly go over them. So we had Beagle, Brainy, Capstone, yes, Commander, God, Krill, Noble, Popo. Servo, and that's it. So no, no one has leveled up from that that flashpoint, which honestly I'm not surprised by. And so if we go into the store and sell some max, get even more money because just having the money is great, even if we don't need it. Just saying, we don't need the money, but having it's good. Uh, let's see. Javelin, Jenna. How many stingers do we get? Holy crap. Um, I know we got a Thunderbolt, we got a Shadowhawk, so there's that. So we already got one in our mech bay. So that was that. And we've got four of these, so we'll sell three. 
Oops, no, three. It's 460 grand. Then we've got one of these. I said that that was a new one we got. Huh. Okay. Sell that. So one of these. And we are rolling in now. Oh, we've got an Obi as well, that's right. And that should be it. No more wasps, Wolverine, Zeus, that's all good. Alright. So, nearly 50 million sea bills. It would have been nice to have it before, but hey, we've got it now, it's all good. Um, so, next on the star map will be. We've got a few here. One man's trash, that's an interesting one. In 161 days, that one is uh, 23 days, I don't think we'll make it. So, well, it's 22 days. And that one expires in 7 days, we definitely won't make that. So, let's go for bloody one man's trash. It's a funny one. It's 22 days travel. Um, it expires in 23 days, so we'll just make it on time. Course plotted. So it is a funny one. I do like to put the funny voice on for this one. So yeah, Fed Suns aren't happy with us, Capellans aren't happy with us, but hey, uh, the Torians are absolutely ecstatic with us right now. It could make me happier. So we'll get there, and so I'm just doing this at the end here, so you don't have to worry about it for when we come back. Just every time it's a save game, and because there's so much going on with the mod, so it does slow down considerably like a lot of mods do tend to make games do when they're as complicated as this one. There's a lot in this. So much content. I gotta say, I, I th I've really come around and yeah, I am 100% impressed with uh, this particular mod. In my opinion, it's just it's better than Rogue Tech eh? because it's there's a lot in it, but it's not so unneedlessly complicated. Daria stops by your quarters to recite an invitation. On behalf of our barrack denizens, I for I'm formally charged with requesting your attendance at an assembly of mech warriors in the lands this evening. Libations will be consumed alongside a screening of the recent Solaris Championship. In a less official tone, Darius adds, Heard Hunter ma managed to pick up an official holovid somehow. I expect that our mech warriors are going to watch the fight and get very, very drunk. I'll accept. It's fine. When you arrive in the lounge that evening, the mech warriors cheer. Headhunter starts the holovid while Von Cobra passes around refreshments. The fight is exciting, although one-sided. The main question is how Grey Norton will pull off a vic victory, rather than if he if he will. For, the, for a couple of hours, you're able to set aside the burden of command and just be a mech warrior among mech warriors. Ah. Oh. So. Let's keep going. We'll be, uh, coming up to the end of August as well. Oh, well the, the latter part of the, the year. So it will give us plenty of time to do a lot of flashpoints. So it's One Man's Trash which we'll be doing in the next episode. I just want to have a quick check of... So let's check the store first. Anything decent here? Like a king crab? component, that would be good. <laughs> no, there isn't. Uh, contracts. What are the contracts like on this system? Very yeah, crap. So we won't be doing these on this system. So yeah, we'll be hopping straight into uh, this flashpoint and then moving straight on. So it is uh, one man's trash. It's a uh, short um, engagement with an uncommon mech upgrade. So that'll be interesting. 
All right, folks, well, I hope you enjoyed Double Agent, and I uh, hope you can join us for the next one, One Man's Trash. Uh, this is Huey signing off for now, and uh, as I always say, until next time, take it easy, and bye for now.